What's going on YouTube? Here I got my everyday carry items and I want to tell you why I picked them and why I like them. So I'll start this off with my Milwaukee two and a half inch blade knife. It is the Hardline series. This cost me about $52 on HomeDepot.com. I really like this knife. It's not too big. It's not a burden. It's perfect size. My hands are a little big, but you know, for cutting items that are a small task, I like pulling this out. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, I do like the stone wash here. It has D2 steel. I just sharpened it for the first time the other day. The pocket clip works really well. It has a red insert. And it has this plastic. I wish it both sides were that stone wash material because it looks really well. But, and the action of this knife is pretty good too. So there it is and I'll do it one more time. So great little knife. I wanted a knife that I could beat up on and not really care. And so I work construction, so I'll bring this out, cut straps or whatever the task is. Next I have a pair of Leatherman's. This is, uh, US made I believe has USA there uh, this is bigger than some Leathermans out there I really like this fine you know needle nose pliers it has replaceable wire cutters it has so everything on this so this this feels like a quality product when you hand someone your Leatherman it just feels good in the hands and I like this one because it's simple I know the free p4 comes with two extra knives but I think keeping it to one knife keeping it simple is what works for me so here's the knife it does have a serrated blade pretty sharp and on this side it also has a Phillips I know some of the Leathermans have changeable bits. I like this one. I'm not going to lose that. It also has a pry bar which is useful and these ones are thicker than the other side. You can kind of see how it's thinner so these can handle a lot more pressure on them without breaking. I don't know if you ever broke Leatherman pliers before but I have so this is the locking mechanism and all these are like magnetic close or and open I believe and I really like these scissors so they're sharp you can cut zip ties elastic bands pretty well made they're not too small not too big so I feel like it's perfect a file plus a flathead so it is kind of hard to get things out of here. Here's the AW plus a smaller flathead. I believe it's called an AW. And here's another he uh, flathead with uh, wire strippers on there. And there's also a little measurement tool. I don't know who would use that, but it's there. So I feel like this is a great, you know, all-around product. I really like it also has wire crimpers so great product here's something that's inter interesting so I bought this about a year ago maybe a year and a half ago at Costco.com it also comes with a headband to make it a headlamp but I just use it in my pocket so there's high I believe it could last one hour on high medium and low. Oh, I thought there was low, but I guess that was low. But supposedly it lasts three hours on low, which is really good. <clears throat> it also has red, blinking red, green, and blue. So it says it could last on these colors for 15 hours, I think it said, which is good. I saw that Walmart had uh, 
this on there and I was reading the description but it says sold out and I looked on Amazon couldn't find it but so I don't know if this you could still get this product from this company so who knows it does have a good pocket clip rechargeable great light and I got it for two for twenty dollars twenty five dollars or so and the one on Amazon was thir or on Walmart.com was thirty six dollars next tool I have here is night Izzy I don't know if that's how you say it but it's a pry, pry bar flathead and it has two Phillips and two flatheads so if you need to get into tight places can throw a bit in there take one out and show you so this was about fifteen dollars and you could just get into wherever and tighten things down or loosen them up by reversing it there we go so this is a cool product I definitely like the pry bar feature of this. You can get some good leverage. It has a bottle opener, some hex bits, and I think these are two other sizes. I'm not quite sure. Probably a quarter, and I don't know, an eighth maybe. It does have some measurement tools on the back, and on both sides actually. So, bottle opener. And carabiner I put this on my car keys so and then the last thing is a Milwaukee Sharpie you know if you need to write something it's there uh, I would carry a pen but I haven't found a pen that was fits my needs yet but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button I'll see you guys later